Hey, good morning guys. How are you guys doing? It's Kevin here from the uh, Bay Area and uh, Happy New Year to all of you guys. <laughs> I'm here to tell you about my uh, new cologne purchase uh, that I have made recently uh, at various different places. I uh, owned this previously it's a uh, Bulgari aqua but I dropped the damn bottle so here's my replacement uh, oh Tim thank you Tim for uh, putting a comment um, on my page always appreciate thumbs up thank you for that uh, you inspire me to uh, throughout your cologne reviews and um, and also Mark I decided to get Burberry London. I got a 1.7 floor ounce bottle here. Never owned this before. I had Brit before. I used it. I kind of liked it. Then I gave it to, uh, gave it away to my uh, younger younger brother. I thought that it was too um, um, wasn't sophisticated enough for me uh, for my age. Um, I also bought gift set Burberry London. It has a uh, it's 3.3 ounce for the Udo toilet. It's a very nice uh, package, as you can see. Uh, it comes with the uh, after shave. 3.3 ounce. It also comes with a 3.3 floor ounce hair and body wash as well. So I got a pretty good deal on this one actually. Very very nice. Can you believe that I paid $37 for this? I love this. I love this stuff. Hugo Boss number six can't go wrong. Thank you. Thank you to both of you, Tim and Mark. Did a great, awesome reviews on that. And got a gift set for Dracar Noir by Guy LaRoche. Comes with 3.3 floor ounce cologne, either toilet. It has a mini, as you can see, 0.17 ounce. So you can put in your pocket. Has a uh, deodorant stick as well, and all-over cleanser. Very nice. Can you believe that I paid twenty-five dollars for this? The scent is kind of old. Reminded me um, a lot of. Um, it geared towards more uh, older audience. You know, a lot of older gentlemen use it. But uh, I I bought it because I just want to add it to my cologne collection. Uh, I had it. I used it when I was 20. When I used it 20 uh, when I was 20, which is many 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 years ago, um, I felt like a chick magnet. So it's good, pretty good cologne. Uh, pretty classy. Very sexy. I'm also here to tell you two of my new favorite colognes. Um, I can't talk enough about this one right here. Thank you, Tim. It's um, Versace, the Dreamer. And Tim, you did an awesome review on this. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna even attempt to. I don't think I can top you on this one right here. Very nice, very nice. It lasts a very long time too. It's very clean. Only way I can describe it, it's like going through a laundry mat and you smelling your fresh newly fresh laundry and it's very clean and it has a touch of
downy, but it's very light in a good way. It's 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 very clean. It's very. I don't like the. I don't typically like the top note that much, but as as it die down about half an hour later, it's just it's just phenomenal. This scent is phenomenal, and I'm glad it was a blind buy, and I'm glad I I'm glad I um I bought it. I would rate this nine and a half out of ten and it's my favorite it beats Isi Miyake in my opinion I think it beats for me I like it more than Isi Miyake my number two right now on my cologne collection it's Lum or La Home by YSL or Yves Saint Laurent it's very romantic I love it. I think it's very classy. It's very romantic. It's very sexy. It's good for the. Um, I think it's good for fall season. So, that's that's my uh, that's I'm I'm here to tell you about my new purchase, and that's 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 what I uh, that's it. that's what I'm here to do, and I'm glad. Uh, I I hope that you guys enjoy my review. Uh, Thanks. Thanks for watching. Please comment, please rate, and subscribe. And uh, peace. Happy New Year to everybody. Thanks. Thank you for watching.